Hey there. It's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And you are looking at quite a bit of dark painting from quite a while ago. It's a 16 by 20. And if I don't move it too far off the mark from where it's at, you might see most of this. My intention is, because it's not serving any purpose for me. I know somebody out there probably likes it, but um, it's not me. <laughs> and I am going to make a semi ribbon pour whatever. I'm going to go for as light colors as I can possibly manage and pour all over it for my own pleasure. Because I've made a few videos ahead and I need a break and we're about to start working on the book in earnest. And I think I need a little bit of contrast there. I'd like to kind of keep something of the colors. Is that the right color? I don't know. It'll be fine. I haven't used much red. I know, I interrupt myself all the time. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I better be careful. I'm treading on dangerous ground now, I can tell. I think I need some of that that I just made up. That's better. I like that better. Do I want yellow? I don't know. So, because I have squeeze bottles and all my paint is pre-made with Floetrol and GAC 800, the recipe is in the video. Um, excuse me, it's under the video in the description. I can put thick paint on because of the GAC 800 because it protects it. That's what it's for, from, from cracking when it's thick. Maybe one more little shot of white. Anyway, so, my thought is that all bets are off. I can add squeeze bottles of color, I can add or do whatever I please, and probably will. I don't know if that's what I please. Okay, we're going for it anyway. Plants are pink and green all the time. Why should I worry about that? Okay, I definitely have more colors here than I need, but um, if I happen to color cover over this whole entire painting by accident, there you go. You get three seconds to look at it. One, two, three. Should I stir that? No, I'm not going to stir that. There are some cool things in there. It looks like there might have been some silicone in there at some point in time. I've always wanted to pour from the wrong side and see what happens. And then go back again and see what happens at the right side. Now I have edge catchers, and I have some pretty colors too, and let's hope we can keep some of them. And I'm going to pull out an edge catcher, and an edge catcher is just a heavy sheet of plastic card. And this one's covered with some pretty paint, and I might not want to ruin that one because I like taking photographs of them when they're cool. And that one's kind of pretty too. Anyway, they come in the 16 by 20 inch size canvases in the, uh, in the 20 pack, in the bulk pack. And uh, evidently Michaels has suddenly sold out of them since I started sharing that information. So I, I tend to wonder if my influence is maybe a little more extreme than I think. I want to play. I want to play with my Princeton Catalyst Art tools. I want to put my glasses on my face. That's what I want to do. I want to tip some of this. I'm not sure where any of this is going. And I thought I wanted to tip it toward the edge, and maybe I do, and maybe I don't. Maybe I just want to do whatever impulse I have. That doesn't sound like her yet. Sorry. <laughs> so, I have this other edge catcher, and I think I'm going to let what I have there flow around so far. If it gets thin enough, then I can add some at the other end of the canvas. I'm going to move that down some. They really are nice colors. They don't look like what's in the background, but I think that they'll blend fine after I get a chance to... My edge catcher slipped. But that's okay. Because we are going to annihilate that painting, I'm telling you right now. And my theory about using uh, neons next to whites seems to be working. Now, if I tip, I've got enough away from there. So if I tip 
I put it back where you can see it. That's a good start, isn't it? This is basically a ribbon pour as opposed to a ring pour. My inclination is to tip it toward the edge first. I'm going to have to add some more paint. I've got a lot of stuff in my way. Again, I love this blue here. I think I'm just going to give myself permission to do whatever I want. When don't I? Yes, that's true. I'm going to throw some of that right in there. And I'm going to bring my edge catcher back. Try not to stick my finger in any pretty paint. Catch most of that. Let it pool at the bottom. Throw it back on. Turn it around. Let it go the other direction. Contemplate how bright that is and think about what color I might want to add in there. Or if I want to swipe some stuff out. I just watched a video recently. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, we have we now have a dip. Pretty on the edge catcher, huh? <laughs> okay, you work with what you got. I could do that over here too, actually, and be pretty happy about it. I wonder if I can. Shall we? Shall we just do that? Let's do that. Why not? I've got all kinds of paint on there. I can lift off and put elsewhere if I want to. But we just dipped by accident. It's accidental art. It's bound to happen once in a while. I do love dips, actually. It wasn't my intention, but uh, if it turns out better than it was, which could be almost anything, I would be okay with it. So, I'm going back to my, uh, my cup of colors. And I'm not trying to ring pour anymore. I'm just throwing some stuff in there and I want some of that beautiful magenta which I'm not getting out because my tip is clogged. Not anymore. I used to say a certain word. And as much as I love all that, and I do, yeah, you know what? I do. I love it. I love everything but that line in there. Let's ring pour it. I want some of that beautiful pink out of there, and I'm not seeing it, so guess what? It's going in there anyway. And some more white. And some blue. And I'm going to let it go all kinds of places. And do all kinds of things. Basically, whatever it wants. Actually, whatever I want. Because we've already had our accident, we don't need to have any more. So I'm just going to use my catalyst spatula tools. Pounce a little. Maybe pick up some paint. Put it down. Waggle. That's kind of cool. I'm liking it. I've got some pretty brush Prussian blue with some deco out pouring medium. Let's see if hopefully you can see that. And as long as there's any other paint in there at all, and I'm agitating it, I will probably get some pretty cells. And I think, because that's the way that works, I'm just going for it. So I'm already much happier with what I've got. It's a little strange, but that's okay. And I'm going to come back down here and look at that, that Prussian blue up there and go, that's not exactly as I would like it, and fix it up. I'm also going to take my spatula and run some of these colors over the edge right now so that they blend, because the original painting looks nothing like the new painting, and that's better. I want to dip again. I want to dip that over there because I can. <laughs> oh, I love it. Accidents will happen. So, I like that green. I also like this yellow. I seldom use it. I don't know if I can even get it out of there. 
I'm not so concerned with what happens anymore. Look how pretty the paint is in that cup. Isn't that always the way? I'm just going to keep spreading paint and uh, if it's heavy and I don't like it, then I will take my edge catcher and dip it again. And right now, I just want to cover that edge. I'm going to make that go up there. I have some gorgeous cells. I have, I'm not so sure about that orange in there, but I bet anything that if I covered it over with a little white, yeah, I am a little concerned with my edges. I am trying to cover them too. I don't usually mind, I know I keep interrupting myself, I don't usually mind a little background popping through on these. Oops, that's not the color I expected. Okay, I thought it was black. And I am just going to keep doing that. I really, really do. I really want to grab that edge catcher and come back over here. Okay, this side is mostly covered with a similar looking coating. I could probably Rain-X this and have a ball. rain -X is a spray-on windshield water repellent that works on wet acrylic paintings with pouring mixture, with my pouring mixture in them, um, and creates instant patterns and cells, and it's very cool. I just wanted, I don't want to drop that spatula on the ground, thank you very much. The edge catcher is gorgeous, and I don't really want to change it much, but I'm going to use it again, cautiously, right here, and see what happens. And I'll do whatever is necessary after that happens, which could include some bright orange. I'm going to keep using my wet rag that's made of a sweatshirt material. I don't want brown. And we'll take some of that orange before it becomes something else. Playing fast and loose with paint and by the seat of my pants. And like before, I'm probably going to wind up with more paint than I expected. But it's kind of fun to do that, too. I have chain. Ooh, there's a thought. What can I do with chain? I'm, I'm going to wish that I had cleaned it. That's what I'm going to do. I just peeled that off the side of my table. Oh, well. I wonder if dirty chain works. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Why not add a little chain to a dip? Why not indeed? Someday my workspace is going to be larger than this. Yep, anything goes. I even have five minutes left. That's pretty cool. So I'm not minding the stiffer chain. Strangely enough, this looks like um, underwater fairyland or something. It's pretty cool. I don't know how... You know, I did put some white in that pink. And I'm liking the lines that I have. It's very, very effervescent. I really don't want to destroy anything that's cool already. And that pink is really hard to keep. That's why I put some white in it last time I mixed it up. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I can. 
I do it because I can because I'm pretty confident that if I can't, I'm going to undo it. Yes, I did. My chain is kind of dirty now. But I want a little... That didn't really do what I had intended. That's okay, because that's a pretty good area up there. So it's an everything, everything piece. I've wanted to just give myself permission to do everything pieces forever. So a little spatula swiping in there. Oh, that blue was kind of nice. I'm not sure. That just looks like, you know, water weeds. Like plant forms. That's cool. I either want some green or I want some black in there, and I think I'm just going to use the blue instead. Wow, we got a breeze! No, no, no. <laughs> Nothing can blow in my painting. I'm having too much fun. Okay, speaking of fun, it's down to two minutes. And what that means to me is I should tell everybody who doesn't know to uh, check out the other 299 videos or 310 videos, depending on what time, you know, how what time it is by the time you get here. On my playlist. The playlist is called... <laughs> I would do that to myself right now. It's called Expressionist Art... Nah, I don't remember. I'm not even going to try that. I'm going to say, if you want to contribute to Keep Me Painting, you can by contributing through PayPal or Patreon. And there's a link below the video in the description area and an icon on my YouTube header should you want to help. And I love that green, so I'm going to do that again. There's Instagram under Show More under the video, as well as Pinterest links and a Facebook album with Wet and Dry Artworks from, from YouTube as... Uh, as caught up as I could possibly be before Facebook glitched. I'm not unhappy with that at all. That's pretty cool, in fact. I am liking just loosening up and uh, going with the flow. And that accident didn't hurt my feelings any at all. And all that looks like water weeds to me. I'm happy. Just playing in the paint. We're, we're hoping for a book for Christmas. Keep an eye out for, on Amazon for that. If all goes well. <laughs> I do sell my artwork. If you have an interest in buying some, I'm happy to sell it to you. Just communicate with me and I'll do the best I can to, to communicate back with you. I'm all completely distracted by my new ocean scene. <laughs> it's too bad there aren't any fish hanging around. There probably are somewhere. I think since we have some time left, a little bit of time, oh, like a minute and 30 seconds, that I should tell you that I'm going to torch. And torching takes the bubbles out of the paint. I think I want a few more of those waggles because that'll help. Plus agitating the paint will often create cells. We like that. There's my warning bell. So thank you all who have contributed to keep me painting very much. It worked. Thank you. And anybody else who wants to, if you can't, just communicate with me. Say hi. Ask a question. I'll be happy to help you out if I have time. And I expect to have some time. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> you may not see me torch. But I like adding a little bit of Prussian blue for texture. Right up there. Yeah! That's perfect. It's not what I expected, but I went with the flow. And you can too. So, as I was saying, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio in the backyard at the end of October, saying thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for being one of more than 30,000 subscribers. And 
I hope to see you again in the next video. And um, I love you all. I love your comments. I love visiting with you. Thank you all for the appreciation.